Hi, welcome to another video to do with BandLab for Education. Um, this is the second one to do with this effects automation. Um, I've had a few um, emails back and forward with BandLab support um, and they're keen to see another video of some of the issues that I'm still facing, but I think I've resolved them since my last message to them and I'll hopefully point out a few things for them so they'll be able to see it in this video. Let's get into it. Okay, over here in the mixer, let's find a piece of audio. Now I'm using this one, this short one again for a reason, because I've discovered something when copying audio that's very, very small. Um, and we'll go through a few examples of that. So let's firstly start off with volume. Let's play around with volume. So, what I've done here, and I'll point it out, is I've actually sat these little, I'll call them nodes, they probably have a, a proper name for them, um, but they're not physically sitting on the audio. So let's just copy this. So the first way I'm going to copy this is highlight it all. So that's highlighted, let's go copy, let's go paste. Now you notice the message has not popped up this time. Nothing's been copied. Okay, so let's get rid of that. This time I'm going to select them by holding shift. No, I don't want to move them. I just want to select them. Copy, paste. Now I've got the message this time, but let's see what's been copied. The very first one is the only one that was actually touching a piece of audio. So let's delete that and move these nodes so they're physically, let's make them obviously on a bit of audio. And we'll try it this way again, just to prove a theory. Only the first node showed up. Let's try the other method of actually selecting each piece of audio that I want to copy while holding shift. Um, Control C, I'm using. I've got the message. Let's see what's copied. So by making sure you've got your those little nodes actually attached to a piece of audio, it should copy. Okay, let's just see if we can take it a step further. Let's add in the delay effect that I used last time. And we'll go to the feedback thing again. So up to there. Let's make this one off. Let's make this one Actually, I'll put that one's off and that one's on. So let's try this again. Let's try the highlight method again. Copy, paste, it's found something. What has it found? None of the delay, only the first node of the um, volume. Let's try it the other way. Delete that and let's select them, holding shift one at a time. Copy, paste, it's found something. Okay, all the volumes have been found and the nodes that are actually attached to a bit of audio has been found. So this time, let's just move them so they actually attach to something. There we go, I've created that shape again. Let's delete that one again. We'll try the highlight method again. Copy, paste, something's been found. It's found some of the nodes. It's found all of those. Let's try the other method. Let's see if it gets every single one of them. No, I don't want to move it. I'm trying to select it. Copy. Paste. Let's see what it found. It found all the volume. It found all of the um, delay. Okay, let's try another example. Um, let's find a larger piece of audio. Let's find a piano track. 
here we go. So let's add some volume changes. Let's add some pan changes. There we go, we've got a few different things there. Let's add in, let's be adventurous. Add in the delay. So all of this is within this piece of audio. Okay, so I'm going to do the drag and copy way. Let's see what it finds. No message has popped up. Nothing was copied. Okay, I'll do that again. Let's delete that piece of audio. So I'm doing that drag to highlight it. Actually, let's see if I can make the screen a bit bigger. So let's drag as if I was going right across it. Copy, paste, no message. This time I'll select the audio, do my shortcut copy, and now I've got the thing popped up. Let's see what was copied. We've got the delay. Let's just compare them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all copied. The pan. That looks like that's all copied. Volume. That looks like that's all copied as well. Okay, so on quick face value, it looks like they may fix this issue, which is awesome. Thanks, BandLab, for doing this, and you've been able to fix it on the education platform. Um, so, yeah, if you have any other questions, let us know. Um, don't forget that if you're using small bits of audio that you're copying, make sure those little node things are physically on or attached to a piece of audio when you're copying it. Um, and yeah, yeah, let us know if you have any other problems. And um, thanks BandLab support for sorting this out. See you later.